And Lovey, all she did was, she didn't drop a shoulder and, and bolt. She just kind of quietly spun around and faced it. I mean, I think she jumped too, but it wasn't anything crazy like what you guys just saw in this video. And I was so proud of her. And then Sundance decided to take Lovey and Zor over, if I remember Sabrina, because you were riding Zor, and, and Sundance decided to take the two of them up to the tent so they could smell it and become familiar with it and realize that it's not, isn't that cool? Sundance just decided to walk with her student. It was just beautiful. And Sundance used to hate white things and bags too. She's still not 100% either, but it was beautiful. So that's what we're looking at. You, you know, my students were safe on my horses. Um, Lovey is the most unpredictable still. That's why I rode her. Nobody rides her um, just because of that. But once you get Lovey's brain back on and focused and in rhythm with you with, a, with one day of work, you know, like an hour of work or whatever, um, she's pretty steady Eddie. You have to know your horse, okay? Just know your horse. So relationships number one, developing your foundations number two. You shouldn't want your foundations there besides your horse being out of shape. You do not have to exercise your horse every day. You should not be repeating things every day. Your foundation is like going to college and having your undergrad. Once you have it, you've got that knowledge, you're done. You can decide to not do anything else with that education or you can go get your master's and specialize. So when you have a solid foundation and you really understand your horse, their strengths and weaknesses mentally and physically, it's easy to progress. You should be progressing every day if you want to specialize and get your master's. And we're working on specializing, you know, our dressage. So um, the third is being consistent and repetitious until in training your eye. You know, people repeat things and repeat things and repeat things, but not very many programs or trainers also emphasize that if you keep repeating it, your horse is going to get really bored. Horses are really smart and quick learners if they're not triggered. If they're open, their mind is open to learning, man, they get it like that. And they're ready to move on. You only need a little bit of consistency. And, and so that means you guys have to have a responsibility to learning too while your horse is learning. You need to keep learning. You need to always work with a horse and ride a horse that's better than you. Because then you'll know what you're trying to work towards. If you're just stuck working with your horse all the time, then that's what you're used to. And it's hard for you guys to get out of that. Where's your mindset is like, oh, well, well, this is, this is normal or this is what it should be like. No, it shouldn't be like that. That's why we make these videos so that you get to see what a trained horse looks like or a horse that's in training. You can relate to it. You can see what it should look like and, and how things get fixed, resolved. And the fourth is you always want to keep testing things until you have your foundation. You want to keep testing them. Once you have your foundation, you don't need to test them. You can take your horse out and load them in the trailer. They can self-load themselves. You can take them off the property. You can ride them off the property by yourself and not in a group. You can trailer them. You're, the horse is fine with the vet. You, you, you know, you're done testing all these things. I'm testing things right now with this paper. I'm testing things. And I had to correct her earlier and get her focused. Come, you can see Smokey and Sundance looking at the camera, I love it. Yeah, relax. But she's got her mind on me and this is really important because what I'm gonna do next is just show you where this leads and I'm gonna ask Lovey to come over bridalist and pick me up off the fence. That's one of my specialties. But I wouldn't ask it if, what, her feet were moving. That would tell me that she has a really busy mind. I'm not going to use a halter. Hopefully my glued glasses stay there. So this is something Lovey understands. We do this all the time. Meaning she knows what the cues are to come get me. I think this fence will be better because it doesn't have the wire. Come. Come. Come on, girl. She knows this routine. This is part of our consistency. And she can choose whichever side she wants me to get on. Come. Come on. 
Come. Come. So see how she's acting right now? The ears are forward. She's like a, like head shy. Lovey's a little bit out of it with the eye situation, you guys. Out of sorts. So I'm not making an excuse. You got to know, don't take anything for granted. Come. Good girl. Good. Don't take anything for granted. Know your horse and take your time. I don't want to rush through this and end up getting hurt because I have nothing to protect me. So this isn't good enough because I don't have her mind 100% on me. How will I know? When she thinks, come. You're getting corrected again. When she thinks more and participates better, come. Come. Come on. Come on. Come. Come. And let her tell you where she is. Let the horse talk to you. I'm not here to force anything. I'm not here to make it happen. I'm going to keep asking and it does need to happen, but I need to also listen to what my horse tells me or I'm going to get hurt. Remember, what's this video really about? Riding safely. I need what from her to tell me that I'm going to be safe on her. A hundred percent of her focus. So she's backing up, she's unsure, she's asking a lot of questions with her ears. Why? I don't know. We haven't ridden in a few weeks. That's Lovey's definitely, um, thank you. That doesn't, like I said, that doesn't mean that if I were to get on with the bareback pad and our bitless bridle or halter that I wouldn't have 100% of her. I would, but I don't have that right now. I'm completely at liberty, you guys. She has a free choice right now. And that's the point I wanted to make. This is the biggest test of them all. Not that I expect you guys to, to do this or want to ever do this, but this is, for me as a trainer, one of the biggest tests for all the horses that I've ever worked with and work with. If I don't have this permission to get on, I will not get on. You know why? Anybody can put a saddle on and a big bit and put their foot in that stirrup and ride a buck. God knows I can, and I won't, because I feel like I'm emotionally and mentally raping that horse. That horse has got to want to come get me. And if she doesn't, why doesn't she? That's my responsibility is to figure it out. Do I need to do more relationship building? Do I need to do more exercises that build better obedience and trust and cooperation? Maybe I need to do all of them. You've got to take your time to figure this stuff out. Ah, thank you. So I'm not done yet. I'm gonna ask one more time for that left shoulder to come over. Good girl. Come. Come. I love that. Do you see the little steps that she's taking to figure out what I want? That's 100% focus right now, but I don't want her butt. Come here, babe. Come. But you have a thinking horse and a participating horse right now. Good girl. Good. Thank you, babe. Good girl. And that's what I want to show you guys. That you have a thinking horse, a participating horse. How does that show up? And when she wasn't there, how did it show up? The head was high. The ears were perked. She had questions for me. A lot of uncertainty. Her feet were busy. She backed away from me. All those signs. So how many times do we have, do we have a horse in a bridle and a saddle and we pull them up to the mounting block and we just get on? And the horse is nervous. The horse isn't standing still. The horse isn't relaxed. We're not relaxed. And we just keep moving around the mounting block until we can get on. Or we just put our foot in the stirrup and get on and say, screw it and ride that. Some people are fine like that. Some don't care. Some are too ignorant to know any different. Some enjoy that spirit of the horse, but it's not safe. 
And I can have plenty of spirit with lovey if I ask for it. I can have plenty of spirit. This horse is one of my best liberty horses. Nope, you know what that means. Think. Nope. It means back up. Come. Good. There you go. Look at Sundance and Legend right now. I love it. Every time the camera's on. They are camera hogs. They used to be the main horses. All right, so if the camera just comes back, we're going to end it. Lovey's been yawning, if you guys have seen that, and she just blew out and released. And you can see how she's dropped her head and she's a lot more relaxed. So these are great signs. I'm going to see if she'll take me back over to the fence. We never ride like this, by the way. So this is a test of all the aids that I use, good girl, when I'm riding with my bitless good girl bridle. That's pretty nice, huh? This is a test, guys. I don't ride her without anything because I don't trust her yet without anything. <laughs> but I trusted her enough in this situation, this scenario, and I told you and showed you why. Had she still been up and nervous or agitated looking and moving her feet and unable to stand still and a little bit reactive, I would not have gotten on her without, at least without her rope halter, where I could have some level of control. So I hope this has brought some new awareness to you, trained your eye a little bit more, given you some concrete areas as far as what needs, for me, what I want to teach you, the owner, the student, also the trainer of your horse, what you need to identify and be clear with as far as your mindset and trying to break it down into four key areas for you. And then what does your horse need? And how does that show up in your horse? What does it look like? And she's continuing to yawn and lick over there. So she's releasing a lot of endorphin. And she's going to come up and rub you. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you i look forward to your comments may you always be one with your horse that's cute you got to get lovey lovey just came up she loves sabrina and she gave sabrina a love rub on her back a soft little love rub hi ledge oh my gosh hold on let's let legend let me put her mask on and let legend in here hi doo-doo hi rotten boy come on oh legend's like i never get any time i'm retired Please give me some attention. Hi, sweetie. Come on, old man. Come on. Oh, Ledge. Oh, I love the Lele. Oh, this is the horse I ride on the trails with a neck rope, you guys. But he's crippled now. He tore his tendon plane last year, and he tore it. He shredded it. He no longer has a tendon in his front left this is all scar tissue yeah all scar tissue playing playing with a horse half his age you stinker rearing up so but this was my top and then smoke and sundance but this is what it's all about guys you want them to want you more than anything and they can and they will trust me they can and they will Oh, thank you. May you always be one with your horse. <laughs>